All right, this is fifth grade, unit two, lesson one. And in this lesson, uh, we are going to be uh, sharing sandwiches as the context for understanding how division and fr fractions kind of relate to each other. And so we're basically kind of the key getting into fractions. What does it mean? We're talking about sharing in a fair way. Uh, and we're using a real life context to help us get started. So, you know, let's get started on this. And uh, we, we're going to begin with uh, which one doesn't belong. And so here's your which one doesn't belong. And the students are supposed to, um, parents and teachers, by the way, this is, you know, um, the students are supposed to look at these four different options and come up with reasons why each of them doesn't belong. What makes that item, whether we're talking about item A or item B or C or D, what makes that unique? What makes it uh, the thing that doesn't belong, all right? Some characteristic. And so parents and teachers, uh, we are encouraging thinking and critical thinking and looking. Um, really, it's really hard to be for students to be wrong in this endeavor right here. We, we want them to be thinking, you know, about all the stuff that they notice and whatnot. All right, and so now we're going to get into our activity for the um, the lesson and let me see if I'm going to scroll. Let's see. I'm going to scroll over here and I'm going to see how long are students expected to work on this. So the warm up was about a 10 minute long thing. And then for activity one. So this is going to be about 20 minutes. So uh, there's going to be some serious thinking going on here, parents and teachers. And the purpose of this activity is for students to uh, begin using that sharing sandwiches as the context for um, understanding the relationship between division and fractions. And so in this case, uh, students are told that they need to choose numbers to fill in the blanks here. And they're cho they're, they get to choose two, three, or five. So from those numbers, two, three, or five, they're gonna put one number here, they're gonna put another number here, and they're not going to use the third number at all. So parents and teachers, we're gonna let students uh, choose the problem. Teachers, you probably don't need to choose for them. Let students do the chair, uh, sharing and thinking, uh, choosing and thinking. So for this case, oh, let's say, I'm going to say, uh, we say there's uh, three sandwiches equally being shared by five people. So in this case, we know each person is going to get less than one full sandwich. And we're going to represent this situation with a diagram or drawing. So, okay, so I'm gonna draw my three sandwiches. So there's a sandwich and I want three of those. So I'm gonna try and, I'm just gonna copy and paste and paste. And so I've got my three sandwiches and somehow I need to share those three sandwiches with five people. So what am I gonna do in order to give each person the same amount. And so there's a lot of ways that we could go about doing this and I'll use blue. And one way that we can do this is I could cut each sandwich into uh, five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so if we have five people, let's say we have person A, B, C, D, and E, and then how will we indicate how much each person gets? Well, we just indicate it by saying, okay, person A gets this one, B, C, D, E. So, so far we're sharing fairly amongst the five people. And now each person shares this sandwich cut up into five uh, pieces. And then lastly, this last sandwich, A, B, C, D, and E. So we can see that each person gets three fifths. So each person gets three fifths of a sandwich. Now they're not getting three fifths of one, like the same sandwich, right? It's, 
person A gets a, a fifth of their that sandwich, a fifth of this second sandwich, and a fifth of this third sandwich. So each person gets three fifths, but they're not all three fifths of the same sandwich, is it? Uh, but that's okay. It's fair sharing. Now, parents and teachers, right there, this whole process, <clears throat> uh, we're uh, devoting about 20 minutes to allow students that opportunity to attack this problem. Now, is this the only way that students could have uh, cut up their sandwiches to share equally? No, there's other ways. In fact, what we could have done, and I'll just show a second way, and there's another way we could have done it, is I could have said, okay, well, let's just give each person a half. All right, so person A would get a half, person B would get a half, person C would get a half, person D would get a half, and person E would get a half. And then, uh oh, what are we going to do with this last half right there? Well, we could cut that up into five pieces one, two, three, four, five, and then give each person a piece of that that a slice a b c d and e now how much is each person going to get so each person in this case would get one half plus oh my goodness what is one of those little fractions right here what is this each one of those is a one tenth so each person would get a half plus a tenth and for right now, we're just going to say, that's good enough. We don't need to simplify that any further. So there's a couple of ways. There's other ways, parents and teachers, that students could divide up these three sandwiches shared amongst five people. And don't forget, this problem was generated by the students. They get to choose. So in my example, I chose three sandwiches and five people. <coughs> Oh, woo, sneeze. <laughs> and, um, but uh, students might be solving a different problem based on how they chose from those three numbers. All right. So now activity two, and I don't know, let's take a look. How long is activity two going to be? So I'm going to scroll down here and activity two means they're budgeting about 15 minutes. So, all right. So in this case, uh, we're going to uh, find the same amount. So <laughs> let's get back to the, the, uh, the iPad here. So it says Han. Uh, Han is showing some how three people could equally share two sandwiches. So we've got two sandwiches and he's showing how three people could share those two sandwiches. How do we know? And here's the key. How do we know that each person gets the same amount of sandwich and we're supposed to explain our thinking? So parents and teachers, we're not looking for something super duper official at this point. We're just barely getting into uh, fractions. But at this point, we want students to, you know, recognize in some fashion that each person, it looks like each person gets a half plus each person gets one of these little pieces. And what fraction is each one of these little pieces? It's a sixth. And how do we know that it's a sixth? We know that those are sixths because if this half was cut up into three pieces, then we could cut this half into three pieces. And each, you know, since the person three was supposed to get that whole entire thing, we're going to label each of them for three, as in person three gets that half right here. And we can see that because the whole sandwich has now been cut into six equal parts, that one of these little parts right here is a sixth. So each person, to recap, is going to get a half plus a sixth. 
person two gets a half plus a sixth. And then finally, person three gets a half and a sixth. And so that's how we know that each person gets uh, is getting the same amount. Now, we don't know exactly how to say a half plus a sixth in simplest terms, but that's okay. And then uh, it says, draw a diagram to show a different way that three people could share those two sandwiches. All right, well, we're going to get our little, uh, let's see, let's pull up our sandwich. <laughs> there's a sandwich, and there's our second sandwich. Now, what's a different way that three people could share these two sandwiches? So one way is we could cut each of these sandwiches into three equal parts. And we could say person A gets one stri uh, strip, <laughs> person B gets a strip, and person three gets a strip. And these are thirds, aren't they? One third, two thirds, three thirds. And we can do the same thing in that second sandwich, person A, person B, and person C. So I can see that each person gets a third plus another third, which is two thirds. So that's a different way that we can share those two sandwiches with three people. And by the way, that tells us that this answer right here, that one half plus one sixth, it's got to be two thirds <clears throat> because that's this, that's what we got down here. One third plus one third. Mm, kind of cool. All right. Parents and teachers, this is where we're going to allow students some opportunity to think about their lesson and jot down some meaningful notes, write down some things to their future forgetful selves. And a quick little cool down. Three sandwiches are equally shared by four people. Draw a diagram to show uh, how much sandwich each person will get. So we've got three sandwiches, one sandwich two sandwiches and three sandwiches. And what's one way that we could share these three sandwiches amongst the four people? Three sandwiches amongst the four people. And a nice, quick, easy way, it's not the only way, is we could cut everything into four pieces for those four people. And then each person could get one of those pieces a, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And because each sandwich was cut into four equal pieces, we know that each of those is a fourth. So person A gets one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. So person A gets three fourths. In fact, each person is going to get three fourths. And that's how we know that each person is going to get the same amount uh, because of our picture. All right. Is that the only way we could have cut these sandwiches? Absolutely not. And parents and teachers, we're going to allow our students the opportunity to be creative inside mathematics. And we only have one problem connected to this specific lesson, depending on where you're looking, it's either called lesson uh, problem one or it's called problem eight, depending on, you know, how you, where you click. I'm going to call it problem eight because I just did a screenshot straight from the page. And it says three students equally share 18 sheets of construction paper for an art project. How many sheets of paper does each person get? So if we have 18 sheets of paper. So we're going to got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If that's, that's nine. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> I didn't draw them identical. It would have been nice if I did, but that's okay. We'll survive, won't we? Oh, I don't want that. Let's delete all that. And let's see. There we go and copy that and there we go there's our 18 sheets of paper <clears throat> and it says students uh three students equally share those 18 sheets of paper 
How many sheets of paper does each person get? Well, 18 sheets of paper divided amongst three people. That means each person is going to get six sheets of construction paper. So that's problem A. And I'll label that problem A. Now problem B says now three students equally share one tube of glue for an art project. How much glue does each person get? So we're going to draw our tube of glue. So let's say here is our stick of glue. It's one of those kind of glue stick kind of things. <laughs> That's a horrible looking picture. You get the idea. Or, or could we do it like this? One of those like that kind of. And there's our stick of glue kind of looks like a carrot anyway <laughs> so <laughs> one tube of glue except we want it to look i you know kind of uniform so i'm just going to draw a nice tape diagram right here <laughs> and uh, three students equally share that tube of glue how much does each person get <clears throat> i'm going to cut it into three pieces and because that entire tube is now cut into three equal pieces. That means each piece is one third. So each student is going to get one third of a tube of glue. So they get six pieces of paper and they get one third of a tube of glue. <laughs> My drawing is horrible. All right, folks. That wraps up unit uh, fifth grade, unit two, lesson one.